I'm Cadet Jenkins with the JRTC unit. I'm going to be leading the pledge. Please stand with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi, my name is Mary. And my name is Claire. And today we're going to be talking about honesty. To me, honesty means being truthful and always doing the right thing when nobody else is watching. And I'm going to be talking about honesty in sports. So. Honesty in sports is like integrity to me, whether that's um, not talking bad about a teammate or knowing your place on and off the court or field. Hi guys, I'm Adrian. And I'm Amani. Happy Vision Seekers Wednesday, everyone. We're here for the EHS Student Council to talk about this week's Great Expectations Principle of the Week. And this week, it's commitment. The keeping of a promise or pledge. As French writer Jean-Paul Sartre once explained, commitment is an action, not just a word. So ask yourself, how can you show your commitment here at EHS? Maybe it's classwork, making a goal to stay focused in class, or in extracurriculars. It could be working on that solo move or technique. No matter how you show it, let's help each other reach our goals and commitments and be the best versions of ourselves. Have a great day, EHS. Hey, Vision Seekers. I'm Lindsay Watts, the ICAP coordinator here at Enid High School, and this week in Vision Seekers, we're going to be doing yet another makeup week. Um, we have a lot of students that are not completing tasks in their ICAP, and I want to assure you that the tasks need to be completed every year. The only things that don't need to be completed annually, yearly, are the inputting of your test scores, like your ACT scores, AP scores, stuff like that. Um, and the review. That's something that will be done. Well, no, the review will probably be done annually too. So really it's just those test scores. Oh, and any job shadowing experiences. You don't have to redo that every year. Once that's in there, that's in there. You can always add to it if you do another job shadowing experience or another community service experience. Um, you can add to it, but you don't have to readdress that every year. Um, that being said, we have students that work at Lincoln Alternative School, Lincoln Academy is what it's called. It's located right over there by Emerson, for those of you that know the area. Um, but students from Lincoln Academy can graduate at semester or in May with everybody else. And sometimes that's because they had to do some credit recovery after their regular graduation date or because they um, needed to graduate early for some reason or another, whether it be a vocational reason, et cetera. Um, but those students at Lincoln Academy that were graduating at semester didn't put emphasis on the completion of the ICAP and they literally were not allowed to graduate without that done. So seniors take note, you must have all of your tasks completed this year. That being said, I know that some of us have had a couple of issues with the, the goals and action plans portion of the ICAP and it not saving and marking it as completed. Um, the software company and I are working together to remedy that situation. Apparently we're the only school with that problem. So I've sent them some names and some accounts of some students that have been having that issue of it not saving and registering as complete. So um, as soon as I get more information on that, I will communicate that with the teachers. But, <coughs> excuse me, get it done, make up day. If you don't have an account, get one. If you're not linked to Enid, Enid High School, get linked. If you're not done with at least three tasks at this point, get done. Guys, the whole process, if you sat down just to mark boxes, should take about an hour, hour and 15 minutes, okay? And we are now on week 19, 18, 19. Week 19 of Vision Seekers. We haven't done ICAP at all of them, but we should be close to done. The things that we haven't done yet are the plan of study, and the inputting of ACT grades, but that's something that you can get from your counselor. And um, the other thing we haven't done is your review. The plan of study is planning your courses for high school. And then when you pass the course, you go in and mark that it's passed and put what your grade was and how many credits you earned. And as you're going through high school, you can change that plan, um, but it needs to be updated every semester. We'll go through that. You guys have to learn how to do a transcript analysis. So we'll go through that a couple weeks just on that. But 
Get it done. You guys are capable of amazing things. Have a great day.